we've got some really good news in Apex today. Probably some of the best as of late, but I guess I could see how it might be a little bit of a disappointment depending on how you look at it and the expectation that you set beforehand. We've got a good bit to dive into and discuss in today's video about some new content coming into Apex that fans are very excited for. So make sure to buckle up, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys want to stay up to date with all things going on inside the world of Apex Legends news. And without further ado, let's dive into what's happening right now first off i gotta tip my hat i don't normally do this and i know skins are not content but the following videos you're seeing on screen right now that hyper miss showed golden week and then also the street smart raid skin these are some of the best apex skins i think i have ever seen they're doing a great job on these and honestly i probably still won't buy them but still i think they're really really cool and if i had the money i, I might the ballistic skin looks cool the caustic skin looks cool the revenant skin looks really really cool so Shout out to Apex for making some better skin. And then honestly, the Street Smart Raid skin might be the best Raid skin I have ever seen. It might even be the best skin in the entire game, to be honest with you. But then we've got some great news. And you might be a little bit let down based upon the rewards you're going to get. But I do think that the idea and what we're going to be playing is going to be super duper fun. Now, CrowdRindo had posted this earlier this morning. I literally caught it about five minutes after it got posted. Apex Cups are coming with special reward so is it going to be like cash cups no can it be like cash cups yes it's basically a tournament kind of ish mode but instead of there being like prizes worth money or maybe even heirlooms the prizes kind of suck in my opinion so let's talk about it so round one is going to be starting april the 24th and round two is going to be starting on may 3rd these apex cups are basically going to be the game mode three strikes with no pre-made squads and everyone has to play with randoms your account has to be higher than level 20 in order to play and crossplay has to be enabled in order to play i'm not gonna lie i love that decision and i hope we continue to go in that direction it's gonna suck for some console players that don't want to deal with the cheaters but if we get more people involved in the game in general and we can mix all the players together maybe the cheaters won't feel so bad for everyone in general because there'd be so many lobbies going on at the same time and i think we can start bringing a lot of these new game modes since we don't have to worry about player bases being too spread out crowd rendo also said there is a brand new scoreboard dedicated for this game mode and you will earn points based on your placement so let's talk about those the placement for first place is 120 points the placement for second is 115 third is 110 fourth is 105 fifth is 100 six is 95 seven is 90 points eighth place is 85 points ninth place is 80 points 10th place is 75 11th place is 70 12th place is 65 and then 13th or lower is 50 points you also get additional points for kills it seems like 7.5 points for kills seven points for assists and 0 0.035 points for damage done so as you play in these cups you're going to be able to accumulate points obviously right and so what's the point of all of this no point intended but there will be a leaderboard and it shows your current tier your current position and i'm hoping that this box where it says rubble has not started is a literal leaderboard like an actual here's your first place here's your you can see everybody in the world i really really hope that that's the way that we go now what are these badges well i gotta say here's where the disappointment starts to creep in yes the first place is just going to simply be a badge for the top 100 everybody that participates will just get a badge right no big surprise there top 75 percent is battle pass stars i guess kind of cool top 50 percent is a stat tracker top 20 percent is a mastiff skin and top 100 is a badge so if you outperform literally almost the entire world and you're amongst the top 100 players in this mode then you get a badge now i will say the badge looks kind of cool but i don't really know if that's a proper gift and i wonder if this is just a test run before they might start doing bigger prizes i really hope so like maybe heirlooms or honestly i would really love to see some cash cups where you do like maybe five thousand dollar tournaments or something but the good news is there are more things to break down in this crowd rindo had said every round does have its own prize tracker some of them are require you to be in the top 100 but the round one rewards are basically a participant badge 10 battle pass stars three strikes trackers shadow pack epic mastiff skin and the assault round one top 100 competitor badge then round two rewards are basically another participant badge 10 battle pass stars let's fight epic hollow spray dire resolution epic volt skin and assault round two top 100 competitor badge then as he mentioned first round starts one day after the urban assault collection event and it will be revealed at the same time with the collection event launch you could also see your scoreboard position and match details on a new match history panel i love that feature and he also says this leaderboard panel definitely gives me the feeling that they are testing ranked leaderboards for the upcoming coming seasons 
not too surprised there we did know that respawn said that it was a challenging thing they wanted to dial in what type of rank system they're going to keep permanently before they actually do that leaderboard because it is very very complicated but i'm excited to see that they are actually testing in-game leaderboards and cannot wait for them to bring something like that into rank so let me know what you guys think about that but i think it is a big w maybe a little let down with the rewards hopefully they go bigger in some other events but this might just be a testing ground before they actually decide to do that also wanted to mention hyper mist had let us know that apex is once again opening up the investigation of the account reset bug since it technically wasn't fixed for all players you guys know that we had all these ups and downs badges were missing then they came out with an update it screwed things up again then they came out with another update and it really didn't even fix everybody there's a lot of people still claiming they had missing badges missing progress then we had a couple days ago finally they came out to say that the breakout challenges were fixed well still there are people missing some ranked badges well he came out to say apex is once again opening up this investigation since it wasn't fixed for all players fix for missing season four slash five rank badges is also in progress and i will say there is never a time where these rank badges are more deserved to the players that earn them considering the current state of rank is another topic going on on reddit that many people are discussing because honestly we have been in some type of a crap show for quite some time with all of the issues going on with cheaters and you name it i mean this is one of just many in the last couple of hours miserable homework nine on reddit i started playing season 12 since season 15 i've been able to make it to diamond with some challenges but been achievable every season since season 20 split one i got a diamond three but this split something feels incredibly difficult i was 100 away from plat two and now i've fallen to demotion protection for platinum my theory is that when respawn made their update for rank involving the maximum amount of tiers the group can play that now all my gold platinum lobbies are full of these cheaters i've also had games where my ping will out of nowhere increase to 120 or 150 ping for like a minute and then go back to normal is this potential an exploit or cheat as well right now i do not find rank enjoyable whatsoever it just feels impossible to play anyone else feeling the same about this rank i'm just curious now this may just be a case of homeboy not being that good at the game anymore or it might also have to deal with many other people thinking that there's a new bug with this rank split where once again we're seeing apex predators three stack multiple badges getting into the same lobbies of people that are most definitely not that rank at all so a lot of people have this theory that whenever they added this new you know rank queue requirements that it's actually starting to group people in higher ranks than what they deserve right we've got a platinum a silver and a gold two playing in a full stack pred lobby what in the world's going on well i'm assuming it's because it's not unheard of for the platinum player to go get inside of a pred lobby you know it happens but then at the same time it could happen to a plat player getting into a silver lobby but whenever they're on the same team how does the matchmaking actually adjust that well that's a big issue we have and that kind of takes me back to our first point when we talked about the game modes coming i like that they're forcing crossplay on this game mode because i think rank needs to go in that direction as well i know a lot of you're going to disagree with me i know it's a hot take i think it's one of if not the only way to actually fix the matchmaking issues that we have right now considering we just need as many players as possible to pull from let me know what you guys are thinking about all the topics down in the comment section below of course like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with all things going on inside of the world of apex legends news and until the next time we will see you all later gators